moments before his execution, the Autarch of the Helgen Empire made a promise. In death, he would become a martyr. Without him to lead the nation, Helgen would dissolve into chaos, and even the war machine of the ISA would be powerless to resist the will of his people. He promised madness, and the truth of his words would haunt his enemies for decades to come. Even as his blood began to pool around him and his dying words echoed in his throne room, the invasion of his world began to collapse. Hidden Helgen reinforcements appeared over the skies of his capital. The ISA fell into disarray, and everywhere, the Helgen people choked the streets with their dead, refusing to surrender. In his last words, he proved that no one understood the Helgen Empire so completely as its founder, Scholar Visari. In contrast to his omnipresent visage within the modern Helgen nation, the details of Scholar Visari's early life remained mostly shrouded. He was born in 2307 into a place of modern nobility, heir to the Visari Corporation, which was one of the largest Helgen corporate entities following the first extrasolar war. That same war left the Helgen corporate colonists banished to the world that shared their name, and years of hardship awaited them. Visari was unique amongst his people, better suited to the environment of his new planet and able to breathe without the use of a powered respirator. As he witnessed firsthand the struggle to survive the environment of Helgen, he came to believe that his people had evolved beyond mere humans. He professed the understanding that his race, which he termed the Helgast, had grown to be superior, and that their exile on a hellish world had robbed them of their birthrights. The filtration masks, pale skin, and all the markings of the Helgast race were not symbols of shame, but badges of honor. By appealing to broad populist sentiments and outrage, while extolling the values of militarism, xenophobia, and nationalism, Vasari earned broad support. He quickly ventured into the world of politics, where his natural oratory skills and charisma brought him further attention. Capitalizing on the economic crisis that gripped his planet, and the lingering resentment towards the united colonial nations that had abandoned them on Helgen, Vasari rallied his supporters. In speeches and rallies, he fiercely criticized the Helgen administration and labeled them ISA collaborators. In 2347, an attempt was made on Scholar Vasari's life. While evidence exists the assassination attempt had been staged by Vasari himself, the act galvanized the will of the population of Helgen against its traditional elites. The administration was forced to accept his demands, including granting him the title of Autarch, with unfettered control over the entire government. Amongst his first acts was the declaration of a new Helgen Empire. On his order, the entire society of his planet was transformed, and the concept of the Helgast ingrained as an absolute. English and other Earth dialects were prohibited, replaced with a new manufactured alphabet, the first step in the creation of an entirely new language. Pervasive propaganda extolled both the glory of the Helgast race and Vasari himself, creating a cult of personality unseen in generations. Vasari's ultimate goal was the reconquest of neighboring Vector, the world his people had been displaced from years earlier. From there, he could construct an armada equal to Earth's itself, before blockading the planet and subjecting its populace to the same starvation and death that had ruled over Helgen for decades. Having honed Helgas nationalism, and their forces finally equal to his ambitions, Visari launched an invasion of Vector, igniting the second extrasolar war. While initially triumphant, the death of Joseph Lent, general of the Helgen Third Army and personal confidant of Visari, proved to be a deciding factor in the attack. The invasion of Vector was repulsed, and Helgen prepared 
for a retaliatory invasion of their own world. When the ISA counterattack arrived, many of its forces were directed towards the capital city of Pyrrhus in the hope of capturing Vasari alive. Concentrated into a single point, Vasari ordered the detonation of a nuclear device smuggled off Vector, crippling the ISA and destroying his own city in a single strike. Despite this extreme measure, a lone squad of ISA Special Forces managed to confront Scholar Vasari in his throne room. What occurred next is the subject of some debate, but left Vasari, the Autarch of Helgen, executed in cold blood. In the wake of the Second Extrasolar War and the terracide of Helgen that left billions dead, the legacy of Scholar Vasari remains conflicted. To most within the UCN and ISA, he was an unabashed tyrant, a merciless dictator who exploited his people to achieve personal gain. Across the survivors of the new Helgen Republic, however, Scholar Vasari remains venerated by the Helgast, with statues and monuments erected in his honor, celebrated by both his people and daughter as an eternally loving father, whose name shall never be erased. In Dossier, the Templin Institute investigates the legendary figures from alternate worlds. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to join the Templin Institute, consider pledging to our Patreon page. Along with increased security access, you'll be able to vote in polls to determine future topics, get custom wallpaper every week, and receive some other exclusive rewards.